Guess what? I have a new snake. As many of you know, one of my favorite types of snake is the hognose snake. I have quite a few westerns, but I'm starting to get into the eastern hognose snakes too. And that's actually what is in this box is a female a sub-adult eastern hognose snake. So before I take her out, I figured I would introduce you to a couple of my other hognose snakes that I already have. This one is a western hognose snake, so one that you should be very familiar with. It's very common in the pet trade. And this is the not-so-common eastern hognose snake. It's not just a color mutation. They are completely different species altogether. And as you can see, the eastern is a lot darker in color, and it has less of an upturned snout than the western does. And I go into more detail on my eastern versus western hognose snake um, video, which I'll link up here. But I'll put these aside for now. And my plan is to breed that male eastern to this female that I already have when he gets big enough. She, though, has a bit of an attitude. She's more like your average uh, eastern hognose snake. They usually have attitudes like this. They'll hood up, try to flatten out their bodies to look as big and scary as possible. I'm not intimidated at all. I think it's really cute. And this is the one that I got from the Humane Society of all places. Somebody surrendered her, which is really odd because easterns are rare for people to keep as pets. And then for one to have gotten surrendered to a humane society was great news for me because I needed an, uh, a female. Although she is, she is a little bit uh, hissy here, but that's okay. She surprisingly was um, surrendered already eating unscented frozen thawed rodents. So I don't have to feed her toad scented things at all. I just give her mice straight up. And she has been a pretty good eater for me overall. I just love her little personality though. So I will also have to wait for her to calm down a little bit too, I think, before she feels comfortable enough to breed. So I'm also working on that by just holding her and socializing her a little bit more than I would the other animals that are cool with it. So I'm gonna just move these aside. I don't want them to get too close in contact with a new snake because I still have to quarantine it. So let's move these over here. Okay, now that they're put aside, let's crack this open. Um, just came in this morning, slice this open here, and it sounds like she is a decent eater, but it has to be scented with tuna juice, which I'm fine with. That's better than scenting with like toad scent, which I have issues getting snakes to eat toad scented uh, rodents for some reason. So let's see what's inside. We have... Uh, nice styrofoam packaging. This came from just uh, a private individual or private hobbyist. We have a little cool pack here because it is the summertime. And here is our snake. Nothing else in the box. Let's open her up. By the sounds of it, she is in between the size of my two Easterns that I just showed you. So she's a sub-adult. Let's see if she has the personality that my, that my female does. She's going to reach in. Oh, I feel her. Oh, she's wiggly. Oh, hang on. She's really wiggly. Come here. Wow. She is like jet black. She's got a good hood going too. I'm actually going to take a peek at her here. Check her over for mites. Oh, she's pooping on me. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. You had a stressful journey, but I know you're not going to like this. I don't see any mites, which is good. I'll have to look a little closer though, uh, even before quarantine. But she seems a little bit on the thin side, but overall, not too bad of shape. She is very active and alert. She has actually no imperfections that I can see in her scales. And just a really beautiful dark color. Let me get her a little closer to the camera for you. Here she is a bit closer, and here you can really see those jet black scales all the way down her body. And this is something I love about eastern hognose snakes. Westerns hold on to their pattern their whole life, but easterns seem to lose their pattern as they age. The smaller one, that little male that I took out earlier, definitely still has his juvenile pattern, but he should too, as he gets older, lose that and become more of a solid black color like she is. 
instead of actually hissing through their mouth, that's how their nose is structured. It makes a weird hissing noise as they exhale through their nose. And she's doing it on purpose to try to sound intimidating, of course. Well, I'm happy with her. She should make a good addition to my breeding uh, project that I'll have in the future once my male is old enough. And by that time, she'll be old enough to breed too. And she's actually technically big enough to breed. She's a bit bigger than I was expecting her to be. So I'm really just waiting on my male now. And then I'll hopefully in like maybe next summer I should get some babies. He should be big enough by then. But uh, thanks for watching. She's just hissing up a storm here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Now just out of curiosity, which one do you prefer? Western or Eastern?